Hi, so we've had a few questions about the way that we run our setup or run our lives day to day. One of the most important parts, especially for me, is to be able to shower at the end of every day. I normally shower late afternoon and then I get into some clean clothes, some clean socks, and we've got the rest of the evening nice and clean, jump into the sleeping bag, that stays clean. It's super important to me. So from here on out, we will try to include these segments. If you have any questions about any of our setup, pop them in the comments and then that way we can address them in future videos. But today's all about the shower tent, so let's do it. So for Alex, having a shower at night was a complete non-negotiable. The campsite we were going to required you to have your own shower. There was no more public showers there. So we got this set up. This ensuite shower setup was ideal for us. And since we've been on the road, has been perfect. One of the most important things about it is that it's fast to set up. Just start by unzipping. It's got two Velcro straps. Unroll it. Then it's got two arms with wee locking arms. And then it's got four corners with little D's. how windy it is you can use no pegs two pegs or four pegs I think I'll probably put four pegs in today so you're pretty much done it's got adjustable straps all around so you can adjust how much you can see from the bottom or how much air pokes over the top. We use this as a shower and a toilet, so we keep it pretty low. We've opted to mount ours on the driver's side because we've got a 270 awning that comes around from the passenger side. Also, we often set our tent up on the passenger side, so it's nice to be on the driver's side and have a bit of privacy when you go to the toilet and have a shower. It does come with two factory mounting brackets, but we've opted for a different system based on our rack setup. I've got a bit of aluminium plate that's screwed to the roof rack. The ensuite itself bolts through the factory mount into the aluminium, and that's the strongest floor we want. So on the rack, it sits about 1100 long, and it weighs about seven kilos, which is pretty lightweight, and it's perfect for our setup, because we've got so much on the roof, we're right on that limit of what we should have on our roof, so it's really important that anything we've got up there is pretty light. When you're entering the tent, you come from the left-hand side, it's got a zip. Hi, the inside, super important. The shower, so it's a battery powered, shower head it's got a pump on the bottom you can break it down into pieces it connects up onto the roof racks so you can have it up above your head and then the pump goes down into a bucket we use our dish bucket we pop it out we fill it up with water warm cold depends on what the day is and then pop the pump into it you get quite a decent shower from this we normally have about four liters per person and that's plenty it's heaps the other thing that I find really important is the shower floor. We just use a Kmart bamboo bath mat, essentially, but it lifts you off the grass. It means that you're not getting dirt on your feet when you're showering, and it just provides an extra level of comfort. This might be a luxury, but it's so worth it for us. The other thing when you're showering in here is that you do get these pockets. So loofah, soap, shampoo, whatever goes up into here. Also, we don't use this, but this section here can zip down. So if you have the emu wing, whatever you want to call it, that pop down and you can access your car from the gull wing, you can go in through there. We don't, we just carry everything and, and put it into here. Essentially, that's the entire setup. It's super comfortable for us. 
it makes life a lot easier. It makes getting into bed a much nicer task because you're not putting a sturdy body into your nice clean sleeping bag. It means that we can relax in the evening being that little bit cleaner. We're pretty happy with our setup. It wasn't the most expensive shower tent. We got it from Australian Direct for 199 for the morning itself and 50 bucks for the shower head. I think it's 175 now. There's heaps out there. The other thing is the, the shower floor at Kmart, it's called the Duckboard. It's $15 and then collapsible tub was also $15 and that was off Amazon. So it's not the cheapest undertaking the whole setup, but it's also not the most expensive. It's great to be able to just leave it on the car all the time. It's not like a separate ensuite that you then have to pack up and then put it on top of the roof racks. It's just always there and it's been really great. We also use it as our toilet, as Ollie said. So it's a really great space for us. If you want to see any info on the toilet or anything else, shoot in the comments and we'll do it.